Mr. Anderson is in the house. Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Attention all 11th graders, on Friday, February 24th, the class of 2024 will be participating in a financial literacy event hosted by the organization called Junior Achievement. You will be participating in games, competitions, and activities that relate to finances and budget building that will start during first period and wrap up around 2.30 p.m. You will be assigned a team and your teacher will help you guide through the event, which will be shared in period one before the event begins. Attention juniors. And seniors, there will be a prom committee and officer meeting today at 315 in Mrs. Petrie's room. We will discuss the next fundraiser and more prom details. If you would still like to join, please feel free to come to the meeting. The Media Center will be holding a beach party on Monday, February 27th during all lunches. Look for the flyers or ask a librarian for more information. Also, newspaper meeting. There will be a meeting today after school in Mr. Bischoff's room, 3 18. Make sure to be there today. Bake sale, bake sale, bake sale. The Anime Club is holding a bake sale fundraiser. Delicious baked dessert items can be found for purchase outside Mr. Hershey's room at the end of the day all this week at the rear exit at 3 p.m. Now over to Adam with the news. How'd you do on your blue and gold? The FFA corduroy jacket you may recognize from the movie Napoleon Dynamite was accepted as a part of official dress for members back in 1933. The colors were established in 1929, only one year after the organization was founded. Now for our ag trivia. Did you know it takes just 40 days? It takes just 40 days for most Americans to earn enough money to pay for their food supply for the whole year. It takes 129 days for the average American to earn enough money to pay his or her federal, state, and local taxes for the year. In celebration for Agricultural and National FFA Week, please remember to wear your college gear tomorrow. Also, a heads up that FFA members will be distributing Whoopie Pies that were pre-ordered at lunches during ACT today. Minithon is right around the corner. Are you ready to show off your neon colors and support the kids? The best way to do that is to participate in Spirit Week. Starting Monday the 27th, we'll be kicking the week off with Penn State Day. Pe followed by Penn State Day, we also have Neon Wars, PJ Day, Blackout with Glow Sticks, and Rock Your Mini Thon Shirt Day. On Wednesday and Thursday during lunch, we'll be selling glow sticks for $1 to rock with your blackout outfits. Your second period teachers will give you a ticket if you participate, which will be entered into a raffle. Don't forget, this is all for the kids. Now back to the main desk. 
If you are interested in the arts, music slash video industry, engineering, manufacturing, finance, or marketing, Rock Lidded has the most awesome event for you. Plan to attend this hands-on exploration activity where technology meets art at this live event and industry day on April 27th. Rock Lidditz is a one-of-a-kind production community that supports innovative creativity with the live event industry, with resources ranging from design, engineering, and manufacturing, through rehearsals and beyond, Rock Lidditz is a one-stop shop to collaborative of any live experience. This is a great activity to help you decide if any of the careers that support live events are for you. Be sure to check out the link in Schoology and complete the online survey link ASAP if you are interested. On this Friday evening, February 24th at 7 p.m., there is a free, yes free, concert open to the public. Musicians from Ecuador and Ismanta will be performing in the high school auditorium. They play traditional folkloric music of the Andes Mountains and will have a dance group with them too, performing traditional dances. These musicians travel the country and even make a lot of their own instruments by hand. Bring your family, bring a friend, come and immerse yourself in another culture. Friday, February 24th at 7 p.m. Attention juniors, Thaddeus Stevens College will be hosting a college fair on Tuesday, March 14th. This fair attracts approximately 100 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact and learn about different colleges, which was a main focus on the recent junior transition meetings. Space is limited, so if you are interested, please print out a field trip permission packet from Schoology or pick one up from the counseling office and return it ASAP. Now, time for the lunch. Hello everyone, this is Santa's least favorite child here. Today for lunch, we have a Mountaineer popcorn chicken bowl. We have a garden burger. We have a barbecue chicken patty with an I. We have a turkey BOT. We have a fruit and yogurt parfait. And we have a taco salad. I hate How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Hi! The EISD Mountain Biking Club is rolling out on the trails this spring. Join us! This club is open to all students in grades 6 through 12 and caters to riders of all abilities while specializing in the development of new and beginner riders. We meet weekly on Wednesday from April 5th through May 24th and have group rides scheduled on weekends at Cap, Camp Mac, Mount Gretna, Hershey, and Blue Marsh. For more information, contact Chloe Advisor, Brick Kasman. Now, back to the main desk. Students, Students will be going to period seven for ACT today. Have a great day, Ephrata.